Read lights on. Recording. This is Coast Access Radio. We like to be diverse with music, information, people in the community. It's an absolute pleasure to welcome a local group of musicians, very talented group of musicians called Dragon Scales. Dragon Scales. Hello. Hello. Hi. See, look at that. Right, <laughs> with the hellos, start with the names. Hi, my name's Robbie and I'm 12. Cool. I'm Victor and I'm 13. I'm Saren and I'm 12. I'm Logan and I'm 13. 12 and 13 year olds. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dragon Scales. What made you want to be part of a, a rock music group? Well, so in year two at our school, our class, year two class, we kind of did this song, class song, and my mum and Robbie's mum and other parents helped us perform it. And we entered into the school talent contest and we did really well. And so we were like, me and Robbie were like, you know, this is actually pretty fun. Yeah. So we made a band called Sarah of the Dudes. Uh, and calm down, we were seven. Okay, so. Hey, what does that mean? Is that something from like Game of Thrones or something? I don't know. <laughs> no, no. So, because no. my name is Saren and Robbie's name is Robbie. So, Saren, Saren and Robbie, Sarov. Oh, you have to explain these things, not all. And then the boys. Yeah, and so we did a year of that. We really enjoyed that. Played Sweet Home Alabama in our school talent contest. Wow. Following year, we introduced Logan to Hello. sing Mama Said by Lucas Graham with us. And we did pretty well in that school talent contest. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah, and then the next year, we had Victor on the guitar, yeah. and we played the Judge and Believer Cross, and in that same year, Logan, you know, started Decided up the bass. to take up the bass. And we just really enjoyed it, so we've played ever since then. That's great. So who does what? Um, I play the bass. Um, I play the drums and sing. I play the guitar and sing as a backup singer. And I play the piano and guitar as well as being the singer. That's so cool. It just sounds so great. And you're going to be part of the local scene. Hang on, 12 and 13 year olds <laughs> at a brewery, a Tuatara <laughs> brewery, yeah. on Saturday afternoon, early evening. So what time are you guys on? We're on at 10 to 6 to 20 to 7. Cool. All right, so look out for them. You've got special exemption, so you're allowed to go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yes. we also did it last yeah, I was going to say it's not the first time, eh? Yeah, it's not the first time. No, no, we did it last year. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. so great. Same sort of time. Talk about the sort of music that you guys play. Oh, so uh, we have a variety of genres from blues to heavy metal. Uh, like um, we started with like Sweet Home Alabama and Judge and Believer which are more pop songs and then we started moving into more rock and roll to hard rock songs and uh, so from there we just expanded really. Yeah, pretty good explanation of that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Who have been maybe your mentors? as far as music is concerned, who wants to answer that? Um, well, I've had um, a mentor, Tim, um, for how many years now? A while now, <laughs> a lot of years. Probably, probably not more than 13, I suspect. No, no. <laughs> but um, I started off playing drums with him, and I've taken up guitar as well. Mm. And so, yeah, I've had him as, um, as my mentor, my individual tutor. Yeah. We've got a band tutor, his name's Jack, and he's, he's a cool guy. He's, he's a cool guy. <laughs> cool dude. Uh, he helped us uh, perfect all our songs. Yep. He's also playing at the Tuatara Brewery in a band called Pale Lady. Watch out for them. Oh, that yeah, they're good. straight after us. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. yeah. So that to... sounds really good. I mean, the music that you guys like, were you influenced by, you know, mum and dad? Z, plural? Um, um, nah. Sort of just a variety, you could say. Okay. We've sort of had um, sort of help from the parents. Move that a bit closer. <laughs> sort of help from the parents, and um, we've also loved listening to music, playing it, playing in a band. It's really, really fun, mm. and it's sort of just gone on from there. We've had a great deal of help from the mums, which we were really grateful for. Mm -hmm, very and, much. <laughs> and then all the musicians, which brought us together. Where do you guys practice? Um, 
My house? Sarah's garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone's, someone's garage. Yeah, but it's yeah. like fit out to be a music crowd, and it's a pretty cool place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, as the drummer, you sort of, it's like Animal from the Muppets. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, cool. So you guys have been together for, for how long now? Oh, yeah. as a band? As a whole band. Three years. Three years? Coming up four. Gee, that's great. Mm. Yeah. And where have you been playing? Mainly at school? Um, um, all around the place. Yeah, um, we've started off at this well, the school talent contests and... The um, Paddy's Mart, which is uh, Te Horo School Fair. Oh, yeah. And the um, Otaki um, Fireworks display, which we've done that a few times. Then in 2018, we played as an opening for Tim Brown and the Caramellos at the Globe Theatre in Palmerston North. Cool. Then, as well as being the act for um, the Provost Christmas Party in Waikanae. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've also played at the Musicians' Lounge in, uh, called Zeal um, twice. Yeah. And last year we won the Coast and Star Search competition. That's just amazing, really. You guys must be really, really passionate mm. about the type of music and the sort of... Yeah. yeah. Where do you want to go? You know, when you get a little older, what do you want to do? Keep going? Well, well, I mean, we're only 13, so we, we, tend, we like to think that we have options, but <laughs> hopefully we see ourselves playing music in stadiums across the world and playing to thousands of people. Yeah, we'll be playing at Wembley. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> okay, or yeah, O2 or somewhere like that. Yeah. Um, 80,000 people per concert. Yes, me. <laughs> Where did the name come from, Dragon Scales? Um, we, we had a bit of a discussion, actually. So it started off while me and Saren were Sarah of the Dudes. <laughs> On the year we brought Logan in, we were like, what do we want? So. We thought of the idea of dragons because we love dragons. Mm. They were our sort of spirit animals then. <laughs> so we were thinking of dragon tail or dragon horn. And then Saren had the brilliant idea and thought, music, dragons, dragon scales. Ooh. And then that sort of brought out the name and it's yeah. been that ever since. We've had that name, yeah. I mean, you've listed out some of the musicians that maybe you follow. Are these the ones that you've sort of watched over the years? I mean, you know, you, yeah. people like Eric Clapton's and so on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I like our influences, the people we look up to. Yeah. Like, uh, so we got like Kirk Hamlet from Metallica, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, like Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Bruce Dickinson, Ben King, Jack Black from Tenacious D, <laughs> Eric Johnson, Blind Spot, ACDC, and Rage Against the Machine, and the list just goes on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can see you guys in school uniforms like ACDC. <laughs> like <laughs> young. Wow. Yeah. That's some talent that you guys are really following and aspiring to be, but you guys are your own sort of group. Have you written your own songs or you just perform other people's? We're actually in the middle of writing our first original, actually. Oh, yeah, really? In the, in the middle. We are. In the, in the middle. We're sort yeah. of probably beginning to put together. We've got some music to give now, just oh, waiting works. for words. Yeah. Yeah. Writing some That's words. That's one thing we come. struggle with. with. The yeah. words will come. They will come. You do have some recorded songs, though, don't you? Yes, we yes. do. Yeah. So where did you record those? We recorded them in, in the garage. garage. In the garage. <laughs> in the garage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but um, Jack, our band mentor, brought all the recording gear over, and we were so we, from nine till four. Yeah. Yeah, we owe it all to him. It was a good yeah. day of recording. Yeah. Yeah, it takes a long time to mix a three-minute song. Mm. You think, oh, it's just three minutes. Yeah, that'll do. No, no. <laughs> doing all the bits separately and yeah, mixing them all together, getting the sounds right and the volumes and the levels and so on. Yeah. I was completely knackered afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't we all? Yeah, we owe it all to Jack for helping us. Yeah, yeah. yeah we wouldn't have got them recorded without him. Hi Jack, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys sound so confident. You just seem like you're really enjoying it. And I'm seriously <laughs> nervous. <laughs> oh. Oh. There'll be hundreds of people watching. <laughs> exactly, that's the thing. <laughs> But that's cool. That's, that just gets the adrenaline going, doesn't it? Yeah. And then, yeah. You, and then you perform and you do what you do. Yeah, when we like go on stage, it's just like, get look, backstage is like, okay, um, pretty, shaky pretty, pretty yeah. shaky. Yeah, Sometimes. Shaky just, oh, I remember. Pretending like everyone's in like, like, the underwear in the crowd and you're yeah. good. 
<laughs> what? Imagining people are in their underwear. Yeah, just yeah, so, so instead of getting laugh. scared, you laugh. I remember up at, when we were opening for Tim and Brown and the Caramellos, we were so nervous. We were actually popping some dance moves backstage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we were. Oh. I was thinking yeah. to do some squats. It was so scary. <laughs> squats. That's cool. That's Have you got anything on, on like YouTube? Uh, yeah, we um, have a YouTube channel called Dragon Scales mm -hmm. and a Facebook page called Dragon Scales as well. Yeah, follow us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at that. Marketing. You don't even need a manager. <laughs> like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Well, Dragon Scales is going to be at the local scene Saturday. What time again? Uh, it's t 10 to 6 to 20 to 7. Okay, so that's... 5 to 3 to 6 for you. That's 50 minutes. There's mm -hmm. a few songs you can get in there. Yeah. In 50 minutes. Guys, hey, thank you. I'm going to play some of your music um, as well on the radio. Really great. And I just wish you all the best. I'm just so confident. And I can't believe you guys are just 12 and 13 year olds. Mm. Thanks, Tom. And doing so amazingly well. And look forward to, you know, knowing you when you're as famous as the Rolling Stones. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Yay. Exactly. Dragon Scales here at Coast Access Radio. Now that. Right, next.